Okay, two things. One, first let me ask y'all, how, how do y'all like what I do with the intro today? I did like a slow motion video with the song. Anyways, two, 95% of this video is going to be outside today because it makes it makes sense for, for the topic. Well, I gave you 5%. But anyways, let's talk about the weather. Mother Nature, the personification of weather. Weather over here in where I live, Roanoke, is it's pretty inconsistent, or at least it has been for the past several years. Cause see, yeah, Mother Nature, she never likes to make up her mind anymore. It's like I discussed last year with my old anime teacher. She said how how life is is like anime in the aspect of how one day it's sunny and it's snowy the next. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and that that one minute it's sunny and it's snowy the next. That's exactly what's been going on for the past, this whole third nine weeks of my school. Which is why we, we've only had one full week, if that. Okay, here's my grandfather. Let's ask him about how the weather's been doing, like, the... Okay. I'm putting on the spotlight, well, so... What? Ta it's ta just talk about the weather, how crazy it is. The and... weather, every day change. Uh, one day is hot, one day is cold. Yeah. One day it's raining, one day it's snowing, it's yeah. <laughs> driving me crazy. Yeah, and you even talked about how you, you, you how in Miami it doesn't ever do that, it's just consistent. No, Miami is always like uh, sunny and hot and... Yeah, because it's next, to, it's it's right next to the equator. Right, and um, it's nice in Miami. Yeah. So, um, the only thing, Miami too crowded. You know, I've never really noticed that because I guess I must have been too small to notice because it's been, I haven't been there since I was, what, 10 or, or 12 maybe? Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to go back there again one day. Yeah, we're going, we're all going back over there. Yeah. But do you have any more thoughts about, laying like, more thoughts about the weather? I'm going to buy a nice house next to the beach. <laughs> so. The weather's going to get better some, someday. Yeah. 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 But. The, yeah. Thank you, Wea, for, all right, for taking uh, part in this. And, oh, I have a question. What's up with all these X's down here? Oh, no, that's uh, like like to separate the tiles, you know, when you're doing floors. Oh, these X's right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. But thank you, Wea, for participating in this. No problem. You're welcome. We'll see you later one day, baby. Okay. Wea, by the way, is actually the incor incorrect pronunciation of Abuelo. Years ago, when my mom was teaching me, the word, and I kept, she teaching me abuelo, and I keep saying, wait, wait, and she's like, no, it's abuelo, and I keep saying, wait, wait, and I just, for the rest of my life, I call him wayo instead of abuelo, so yeah, big surprise, y'all, I digressed, anyway, man, it's gotta be windy as hell out right here, and my hands are freezing, anyways, we've missed a total of nine snow days, I don't have three arms, Fail! nine snow days we've had, missed, whatever you want to say, and because of that, School is now going to be extended starting today 15 minutes uh, up until the end of the school year uh, up until May 23rd which is my birthday <laughs> that's the last day they're going to do that which I'm fine with getting out at 3:45 every day as opposed to 3:30 but see the problem is I ride this city bus and the city bus comes right at 3:45 meaning I have to wait a whole half hour for the next bus to come peak bus which comes at 4.15. I already talked about this on Facebook. I don't know if y'all have noticed this or not, but this is more or less an assumption of mine. See, take like 10 years ago, or maybe even five years ago. Mother Nature was pretty consistent for the most part. It, she, gave, she gave off appropriate weather for appropriate days, and it, it, it wouldn't fucking snow in April like it did last year. I think it was, and I'm not sure how often this happens, this, uh, this next thing. But I talked about it two years ago. It happened two years ago. The the, the damn derecho was at a hundred thousand kilometers or something. But it it spread across five fucking states. But yeah, I think I and my grandfather have addressed everything that I wanted to say for right now. It's because I need to hurry up with this. It's getting cold, windy as hell here, even more so than it was. So let's hurry up again into randomness, shall we? Randomness will take place inside. Random object of the day. Okay, so these right here, this is a set of Fanta sodas. We got orange, strawberry, and grape in the form of classic glass bottles and with bottle caps too and everything. These are the tops. Um, top up, uh, the orange one's upside down, but yeah. 
My, my other grandmother gave these to me, my dad's mother, and actually about, what, two weeks ago. I haven't dr drunk these yet because I, I wanted to showcase this, these. You know what I thought? I thought, hey, these would be cool random objects to show, unlike this motherfucking tin can. See what problems the tin can causes? Okay, nothing broke, by the way. I just thought I'd let y'all know that. Random fun fact of the day. Yeah, hey everybody, Randolph here. Did you guys know that hurricanes are actually healthy for the Earth? Not sure why, but they are. Anyways, that's it for me. Peace out! Ah, ah, damn tin can! I hate the motherfucking tin can! Oh, no. Ah. I got one more important thing I need to share with y'all. I'm leaving off for Chicago on Thursday to perform at Orchestra Hall. Wish us luck. And I will, I will be coming back on April 1st. Yes, I will be vlogging there. Like I said this before, so expect the next video to be the next vlog to be on either Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Another weird thing, we're leaving at night, 11 o'clock at night, as opposed to like four in the morning, which is odd. We've never left, I've never left at night for a field trip before. And if you want to know what's going on during the trip, what I'm doing during the trip, in real time, be sure to follow me on Facebook as Alex Wimmer. Do, I, it's highly unlikely I'll post anything on Twitter, so don't even worry about that. Be sure to, starting 11 o'clock p.m. this Thursday, March 27th, the, the blog will start on Facebook and will end sometime on April 1st. And then the video will be uploaded on either April 1st or April 2nd. But thanks for watching this video. That is all for me, and I will see you soon in Chicago, Illinois, the Windy City. Goodbye.